Okay, it is here finals week at universities all across the state and cheating could be more widespread than ever with the growing popularity of artificial intelligence like chat GPT. Fox 13 News reporter Darian DeBrule spoke with the University of Utah about how they plan to address the use of artificial intelligence in schools now and in the future. The issue is that we're all concerned about or interested in more than concerned about is that we're not going to be able to tell uh, over time uh, who uses chat GPT and who doesn't. It's finals week at universities across the country and for some students this year's papers and exams might be easier than ever because of chat GPT. You know it can be used for good reasons and learning things as well as borrowing the words that it spits out. If you've never seen or used ChatGPT, let me show you how it works. You type in a prompt to this box. The more specific your prompt, the more specific your answer. Once you hit enter, ChatGPT can write you an entire paper, solve your equation with explanation, or even write the outline for a legal cease and desist letter. Hollis Rollins, Dean of Humanities at the University of Utah, says artificial intelligence like ChatGPT is changing how universities universities define cheating. If they take some ideas and turn it into something that is some partly their own, um, it's going to be hard for us to figure out like what percentage uh, was written or suggested by ChatGPT is going to be too much. We don't know. It's also forcing universities and professors to rethink how they view learning. Submitting a paper has always been a proxy for learning, but it doesn't, there's not a one-to-one -one correspondence between the thing that you turn in and whether or not you actually absorbed and learned it. As students finish finals and head out for summer vacation, academia has a big question to address. What ChatGPT is doing is asking faculty um, to rethink this question of what actually is your learning? How can we gauge what you learned? In Salt Lake City, Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.